look, it's hard enough to have a kid. Sure. But then when you're co-parenting. Yes. So you're not obviously married anymore. You're divorced. So you're single and you're, uh, you know, you're, you got work, you got podcasts, you got, you know, auditions, you got whatever roles you're doing and you're taking care of your daughter. How do you, how do you do that? <laughs> I, I couldn't, I could, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't have kids. I, I don't have a child. You have two dogs. I have two dogs okay. as of now, as of now. As of now. Yeah. Do you want kids? I, I, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I mean, look at the woman I'm with and I fall in love with her and she's like, I, I, and it feels right. Maybe I'd consider. But it's not like a big thing for you that you've always known you've wanted. I think I did. And I think that time kind of has, has passed. It yeah. doesn't really work that way. I can't guys, whistle. Though. You notice that two times I went. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's not there. Can you? Well, <laughs> yeah, not, no, not, not so, good. so good. I had braces and it took it away from me. My daughter's an excellent whistler. Really? Yeah, I can't do that. Good for her. I know. Um, but the co-parenting. But the co-parent. Yeah, it's just you know, uh, having a kid definitely. Every day of your life, you're like, okay, my kid's alive. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Seriously? No, ser like you have these morbid thoughts of like all the things that could happen, and that adds to the newfound anxiety that comes along with being older. And raising a kid and every day you're like, oh my God, like they could be crossing the street. You see all the, the fucking news, like everything that they put out there. It's always the most horrendous stories. I don't watch it anymore. Well, yeah, I don't watch it. But like on yeah. Instagram or whatever you're right. it is, like it's, you're it's, scrolling it's, yeah, it's all... and it's all like this person died because they were walking across the street or like, you know, and it's all of that. So just, it just keeps feeding your fucking mind with this awful, you know, all these stories. I'm like, where's the, where are the positive ones? And it puts it in your head. So I'm constantly like oh, fuck, this could happen. And like, there's nothing more important in the world than your child when you have one. So it's just becomes, everything is way more heightened because you are you have this person that you're responsible for. Yeah, but is it hard to just deal with the other person and their schedules and they're like, you're not together anymore. So is it kind of weird? Have you gotten past that? Yeah, no, we're, we do really well. Well, that's good that, yeah. because a lot of people don't. Right. It's all, it's all circumstantial. It's all different, you know, situations and whatnot. So we do really well. And my daughter knows nothing but love and, you know, and that's the most important thing, you know? Yeah. So I, scheduling is whatever, but you figure it out, you figure it out, but she is so loved by both of us. And, you know, that's all, that's all you really need to that, make sure. That's the number one what thing. Happens, yeah. I always say that. It's just like, you know, I, I, you do love scary movies. <laughs> Sorry, well, I was just looking around. It's just kind here. of a little thing. I don't always watch them. Yeah, I do. But there's I'm a lot. There's a lot of them. Um, yeah, yep. it's either documentaries. What's your favorite scary movie? I'm calling them scary movies. I mean, probably. <laughs> I always say The Shining. It just sticks it's with me. It's just directed like everything that movie. It's just that they don't make them like that anymore. No. But there's a lot of good ones. If you ever do, you, do you watch them? Sometimes it's the only ones like I can stay awake for at night. Okay. Well, I have some that are quality. That okay. I can give you a list that you can avoid all the shit that's yeah. out there okay. that gets applauded by Rotten Tomatoes, which I have a thing for. Yeah. Everything's well, 99%. Well, yeah. Are that's... they getting paid? I don't well, know. I, I mean, I'm, how could you say this shit is so good? And you watch it and you're like, yeah, that was like a 63. <laughs> oh, so you don't agree with Rotten Tomatoes. I do not agree with Rotten Tomatoes. I think they get paid. I think that somebody pays them. I think the studios have deals. Oh. There's something. There's I something going that. on. I could see that. Yeah, okay. I do. I do. Yeah. And it's like the big critic, the big critics and all that. I, I, that's how I feel. You think And I think a... it's kind of skewed now because mm. the whole world is just in a different way. So like, oh, that person, let's. Let's give them a high score. Uh, okay. I could back Without saying too much. Sure.